he will probably be removed to a medium security prison and he will be home in probably a little over seven years. I'm pleased to say that's a major improvement in this condition. However, it's no cause for rejoicing. He has been sentenced to 20 years on a conviction. But we will continue to fight that conviction. This ends a chapter, the chapter of his sentence. Now we will begin to prepare and will file an attack on the conviction itself. We will begin to get to the core of this case, which has not been fully investigated. So we're glad this chapter is ended. We're glad Antonio will eventually go home. And we look forward to setting aside this conviction. Are you expecting to appeal this decision or not? No, we're not going to appeal this decision. We regret that the judge did not agree with an agreement that we've reached with the United States government. Antonio, in good faith, entered into a negotiation with the government and reached a six-page agreement that he would be released on a 20-year sentence. But the judge rejected that agreement and sentenced him instead to 21 years and 10 months, 22 months more than the sentencing agreement we had reached. It's just unfortunate that a serious man, respectful of the process, enters into a negotiation and reaches an agreement with the United States government, and that agreement is not accepted by the court. What is the old action going to take? There is something which the judge referred to as a collateral attack. We have completed all of our direct appeals on this case. The Supreme Court has rejected our petition. We still have ahead of us a collateral part of the appeal, and the collateral appeal is what is frequently referred to as a federal habeas corpus or a section 2255 motion. It seeks to set aside the conviction, which we will be attacking, on the grounds of constitutional error. Constitutional errors which have not been previously litigated. We cannot re-raise, for instance, venue or any of the issues that we raised during the appeal and were decided, but there are new constitutional issues which we will be raising. Antonio would like to thank his supporters, both here and worldwide, who have made this sentencing possible. If you followed the proceeding in court today, the government itself acknowledged that the reason why it sought an agreement on this sentence was because of the worldwide support that this case has generated. There are how many chapters? Over 350 chapters now around the world. Around the world in support of this case. So it has been a factor since the case has ended. It remains a factor. It will continue and hopefully will grow.